Hush, Lydia, that's my line. I'm sorry, Father. Welcome to Ruffley House, home of the Ruffley family. My name is James Ruffley. And in 1856... Start at the beginning, Father. <laughs> Tell them about Lancashire. Uh, they won't want to hear about that. Oh, poppycock. Father and his father were caught stealing from the cotton mill in Lancashire where they worked and were sentenced to seven years' transportation. After working as a convict labourer in Parramatta and the Hills District, mm. Father settled right here with Mother on a 50-acre property. That's right. We sold citrus. But this wasn't the first house on the property. Besides, we lived elsewhere. This house was built in 1856. And was called Eglatine House. A fine name. One in which I changed, as circumstances dictated. I got into a spot of trouble, you see. Hush, Lydia. Don't tell them that. Oh, father, times have changed. Equality of the sexes. Women's suffrage. Really? Father, just because you are dead, it doesn't mean you can't read. I got pregnant out of wedlock and I named my daughter Eglatine after this house. Father was so upset that he renamed the house The Pines. Well, I forgave you. In time. Indeed you did, Father. When you were married. My son inherited this house from me. James II. And five generations of children grew up in this house. The last person to live here was Clive Ruffley, who was known to the locals as a honey and egg man. Really? How come? He sold honey and eggs. Ah. He sold the house to the council for one dollar on the condition that he was allowed to remain living here, which he did until he died in 2002. And now the family home serves as a kind of time capsule, a relic from a different generation, with every room a different flavour from a different time. Roughly. Smile, Father. Mm -hmm.